there's a couple of Dennis Prager videos that I wanted to look at here. I haven't pre-watched these, but just the uh, the subtitle here with Jason Campbell definitely has me interested. Smiling annoys the left. So this is apparently a quote from this video. I don't know if he says that. I don't have any additional context. But if he's genuinely going to make a point that smiling unironically annoys the left, then I think that we can sufficiently say that Dennis Prager, he has worms in his brain, literally. Like, he literally has worms crawling around in his brain. But let's, uh, let's, let's, let's hear him out. First of all, smiling annoys the left. Oh, so he's, he's going to actually just make this argument. Why does smiling annoy the left? I'm smiling right now. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not annoyed. By, where does this even come from? You could smile right now and annoy me. Do it. I dare you. I wouldn't be annoyed at all. I, like, <laughs> oh, this is an intellectual thinker, folks. There are no happy leftists. There are happy liberals. There are happy conservatives. <laughs> but there are no happy leftists. Okay. Who do you think looks happier, me or him? Every time I watch a video, this motherfucker is molding. Whereas on these streams, we're having fun. We've got the cat or dog cam, depending on the day. Like, these conservatives are fucking miserable. So you're, you're saying that we don't like smiling and it annoys us. No, I love smiling faces. Even your disgusting, ugly smiling face, Dennis Prager, I think it would be pleasant to look at more so than whatever the fuck this face is right here. This molding face. The left hates smiling. I love smiling. As you sit here and fucking seethe. Like, what is wrong with you? This is what happens when you demonize your opposition so much to a point that you become a parody of yourself. To think that the left is so, like, unhuman-like that they don't even enjoy smiling and like smiling. It shows that, like, you, you're too far gone. You're just, you're done. Like, politics has melted your brain. It's time to check out permanently. It's time to retire. And this dude has, like, $10 million or so. So he can retire. He can shut the fuck up and go away forever, but he's choosing not to. Um, I, maybe it's because he just wants to, you know, um, bless us with his very pleasant smile. But he sits here looking like he's miserable, looking like existing is painful to him, waiting to die. And he's talking about how we're annoyed by smiling. Speak for yourself, bitch. If you're happy, you're not on the left. I will say that there's a lot of angry leftists, right? But I mean... We have a reason to be angry because of the state of the world. I mean, he should be happy if anyone. I get why he's happy. He won. He got the late stage capitalist hellscape that he's been pushing for for all of his life. He did it. You won. Congratulations. But it's like, well, what now? Because the country is in shambles and people are unhappy. So what do I do? I got what I wanted. Um, I don't know. I'll just keep attacking the left. But like, I don't know what it's going to take for you to be satisfied. Check out. You've made it. You've won. It's juvenile, right? It's a very immature understanding of your political opponents. As idiotic as I think that Republicans and right-wingers are, I don't think that they don't enjoy human things. I don't think that they hate smiling or hate sex or hate video games. I, I mean, it's stupid to think that. Just like myself, I know that Republicans eat, sleep, they shit. I, but I'm not going to say something silly enough like him, because I'm actually a serious person, whereas he is not. Although I've got to say, this bonsai tree is uh, is banging. I do like that. I've lived a long time. I've never met a happy leftist. I don't. They don't radiate happiness in public life. It, does this look like someone who's radiating happiness? You're on camera right now, and you look miserable as fuck. I can't like not think about how funny it is that he's <laughs> that he's talking about. How the left is so unhappy as he sits here looking like he is praying for a piano to just drop on his head and end all the pain and suffering right now. Think uh, Rashid Tlaib is a happy woman? She radiate happiness to you? He, did he say, I think she is a happy woman? Or do you think? Think uh, Rashid Tlaib is a happy woman? Okay, so he doesn't say do or I think. She radiate happiness to you? You don't. These these people are angry. Okay, so he is saying that do you think she looks like a happy woman? Sure. Why not? I mean, everyone has their issues. Everyone, you know, from time to time will feel bad. 
but we're human beings. We all experience everything that life has to offer. Happiness, sadness, joy. Uh, just what is the, what is the point of this? Who believes this? And who believes it coming from you? You're not the best messenger, are you not? Because you're kind of proving that conservatives, if anything, they're joy kills. Because you, you literally look like you want to die right now. Maybe you do, but I don't know. Compare both of us, okay? Let me let me go full screen for a second. Okay, look at Dennis Prager's face, and now look at my face. Who looks happier? Who looks happier? I look happier. And I have depression. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, goddamn. Just so fucking ironic that he's going to make this argument with this bulldog face. Angry people. They're ingrates. Anger and ingratitude do not allow happiness. First of all, smart. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Now, if you thought that that was a banger, he's really going to drop some fire on you with this take. So uh, this one is more recent, also from Jason Campbell. Uh, if you see a noose on a college dorm of a black student, the odds are overwhelming that the noose was put there by a black student. If you see the N-word on a dormitory building, the odds are overwhelming that a black student actually did that. This is a real quote. Like, this whole tweet is a quote. He's not editorializing. He's sharing the quote. Okay. Let's hear him out. Again, looking real happy right here, by the way. This is a prediction. I never, well, not never. I rarely make predictions. I, what I talk about is what people need to do, not my predictions for the future. But I have a prediction. Twitter will be flooded with hate. And a lot of it will come from people on the left who want to show how hate filled it is. It's like the I mean, define hate. Are we talking about like racial slurs? Are we talking about just like hate itself? Because like I hate you, but I don't hate people on the basis of their identity. Uh, like, what do you mean by hate? Look at how miserable he looks. He talks about the left being, you know, annoyed by smiling and being miserable. I mean, does this, this doesn't look like a happy face to you? Holy shit. Race hoax industry. You can see, like, if you look through his eyes, there's like an alien controlling the levers of his brain, begging for help. <laughs> if you see a noose on a college dorm of a black student, the odds are overwhelming that the noose was put there by a black student. If you see the N-word, on a dormitory building, the odds are overwhelming that a black student actually did that. And this is because hate crimes don't exist against marginalized people to Dennis Prager. In his worldview, the real victims, well, you're looking at them. They're conservatives. They're the ones who are being silenced by the angry hate mobs on the left. They're the ones who should be given reparations for getting banned on Twitter, according to Matt Walsh. He obviously is not going to cite a study, I'm assuming. Uh, this is not something that he's quantified himself. He hasn't looked at the, you know, um, how many hate crimes are faked. Maybe he just saw the the uh, Jesse Smollett thing and says, oh, that's representative. Oh, Jesse, Jesse Smollett. Yeah, thank you, Winston. Maybe he's going to, you know, say, oh, well, Jesse Smollett faked a hate crime. Therefore, all hate crimes are fake. I mean, maybe that's his logic. Uh, that one instance does not denote general applicability. I, I feel like a, an adult should acknowledge that. But, um, I mean, we don't expect right-wingers to exercise logic or reason, do we? We're filled with race hoaxes. Why? Race to hoaxes. show how racist the country is, we need these hoaxes. Jesse Smollett is the most famous. Okay, so he's going to say uh, cite Jesse Smollett. Uh, that's one anecdote. Do you have any other examples? Any other examples? I mean, in order for you to prove that we are filled with race hoaxes, you have to come up with a lot of examples that prove that hate crime hoaxes are prevalent. But he's not going to do that because that's not actually a thing, right? He's, he's just making this up, shamelessly so. That's what we're going to have on Twitter, plus genuine hate. You'll have hate made up, and you will have genuine. That is correct. That is the price of free speech. That is entirely accurate.
I, I've got to ask again, who tunes in to Dennis Prager? Who watches this? I mean, this is one of the dumbest pundits on the right. And this individual, like it or not, is a thought leader. I mean, he founded Prager U, the prestigious Prager University, not an accredited university, by the way, but he is disseminating propaganda. I mean, I've seen my normie friends share Prager U videos. And if you're wondering why the country is getting, you know, exponentially dumber each year, it's because this is the person who's in their heads. Oh, well, hate crimes aren't real. Conservatives are the victims and the left hates smiling. Brilliant. Brilliant. If you listen to this clown and you think that he's making good points, then I don't know if there's any hope for you. 